Hello everyone. Before starting, let me introduce myself. I'm Nasra Hanneshi, a PhD student in mechanical engineering. My thesis is about the numerical simulation of friction steel welding, which is a relevant technique for joining materials. This research work is under a cooperation between LGM Laboratory in Tunisia and ECS Laboratory at the University of Coimbra in Portugal, with the supervision of professors Ali Khalfallah and Dolce Rodriguez. Today, I will present a part of my thesis entitled Comparison between Arbitrary Lagrangian Eulerian and Couplet Eulerian Lagrangian Finite Element Formulations to Simulate Friction Steer Spot Welding Process. Let's begin with the context of this study. In fact, for joining structures, industrials use several techniques, namely rifting and resistive spot welding. However, those methods present some issues that may affect the quality of joint, like stress concentration and cracks. To overcome these problems, the new technique, called friction steel spot welding, was invented. The investigation of this welding technique consists the topic of our research work. So, let's first introduce the friction steel spot welding process. Friction steel spot welding is one of the linear friction steel welding variants developed by Mazda Motors Cooperation to replace rifting and resistive spot welding. The potential of this welding technique is the creation of welds while the material is still at its solid state. Therefore, the defects related to fusion such as cracks and porosity were avoided and strength joints were obtained. However, despite the advantages of friction steel spot welding, well joints quality may be affected by the process parameters. Therefore, industrials and researchers aim to investigate the effect of those parameters on the final property of the weld. Here, a brief review about the main researchers', researchers findings. Three types of parameters that may affect the quality of the weld during friction steel spot welding are summarized here. Static parameters, which are the tool shape and dimensions, the dynamic parameters, mainly the rotational speed and the plunge speed, and the material parameters, which are the material properties and behavior. For this letter, only few works were conducted. In fact, it is difficult to investigate experimentally the phenomena involved during the process, mainly at the contact zone between the tool and the workpiece. In this regard, we proceed to the numerical simulation for our study. And to establish an accurate analysis using finite element model, three main parts need to be clearly defined, which are the numerical formulation, the material behavior, and the contact model. In this presentation, we will focus on the numerical formulation to understand their specificities and determine their capability to predict numerical results. Therefore, the following parts of the presentation are the description of friction steel spot welding model, then I will explain the most used formulation in modeling friction steel spot welding, which are the arbitrary Lagrangian Eulerian and the couplet Eulerian Lagrangian formulation. After that, I will compare the numerical results and I will finish by a conclusion and future work. Let's start by defining the friction steel spot welding finite element model. The process of friction steel spot welding is divided into three steps which are first, the plunge of a rotating tool inside the workpiece to be welded, then the rotating tool will be maintained in the same position creating a frictional heat which softens the material. In this step, the motion of the tool will steer the softened material creating the spot welds. And finally, the tool is extracted. In the current simulation, a 3D thermomechanical model is developed on Abacus Explicit software. The 6000 aluminium alloy was selected for this study, since it's well characterized by our team in ECS laboratory. This table presents the chemical and mechanical properties of the 6000 aluminium alloy, and those are the mechanical and thermal boundary conditions assigned to the model. For the material behavior, it is modeled using Johnson Cook material model which reflects the interaction of flow stress with temperature, plastic strain and plastic strain rate. For the interaction, the contact between the tool and the workpiece is modeling using the Coulomb friction law with a constant friction coefficient of 0.3. Let's go back now to the definition of the numerical formulation. I will explain here the ALI and cell formulations in modeling the friction steel spot welding process. Let's begin with ALI formulation. 
This method was used to reduce the mesh distortion in case of large deformation by adapting the mesh. The procedure of Ali is divided into three steps. First, during the deformation, the material points are moved to new position. Then, a rezoning step where the mesh nodes are relocated according to the mesh smoothing method. For example, for the topology showed here, the new position of a point M is determined by pushing the node away from the element center C1 toward the element center C3. After that, the solution, including the stress, strain, and temperature, etc., are mapped to the new mesh, and then the simulation will be able to continue with refreshed and less distorted elements. This formulation proves its capability when modeling large deformation, however, it may fail when mesh distortion reaches unacceptable levels. This is the ALI based model for friction steel spot welding process. The geometry and dimension of the tools and the workpiece are shown in these figures. The ALI formulation is assigned here to the refined mesh near to the contact zone. Those are the characteristics of the ALI based model. For the cell formulation, the concept is different. I will demonstrate here the principle of this formulation. Let's assume we have to stimulate the deformation of a sample block under pressure. In the conventional Lagrangian approach, we will mesh the part itself, it means we will attach the mesh to the material. However, in the cell approach, we will first create an Eulerian part and define the Lagrangian part as element filled with the given material inside it. Hence, as the material deforms, it flows inside the Eulerian mesh. So, the cell approach is divided into three steps, first defining the uh, reference volume, then assigning the Eulerian grid that will surround entirely the reference volume, including its latter deformations, and finally the deformed mesh from Lagrangian step is moved to the Eulerian fixed mesh. The material assignment to the Eulerian elements is calculated using the volume fraction tool. Volume fraction is based on the percentage of the element that is occupied by the reference instance. It is specified as a decimal between 0 and 1, 0 for the element filled with void and 1 for the element filled with material. Our cell-based model is then as shown in these figures. The reference volume is the bottom layer where the material to be welded was assigned. The top layer of the Eulerian domain was left as a void to allow the visualization of the flow around the tool. And here, the characteristic of the cell-based model. So, after explaining the specificities of each modeling technique, I will compare the numeric numerical results to decide the efficient technique for reproducing friction steel spot welding process. The first indicator when comparing numerical techniques is the computational cost. We can see here that Ali based model has a very high computational cost comparing to the cell model. This is maybe due to the huge number of elements and mesh rezoning during calculation. For the temperature results, which is the main output of friction steel spot welding numerical analysis, we can see that the temperature prediction using the Ali model exceeds the melting points of the 6000 aluminium alloy, which is not the real case using the current process parameters. So, to conclude, we can say that the cell modeling technique is more accurate, easier to use, and more computational efficient when compared to the Ali modeling technique. Therefore, as a future work, we will use this formulation to test several material weldability under different process parameters. Thank you for your attention.